Hey guys, it's Swanski here, and today we're back in Elite Dangerous, and we're going to take a look at update 1.3.0.4. I think that's right, that's a lot of points. Uh, anyway, this is one of the kind of minor updates that Frontier puts out every now and then. Um, the big thing about this one, or one of the things about this one, is that it seems to have, or it's supposed to have fixed the resource extraction sites and combat zones. Uh, the problem with those being that the spawns were really weird, and especially in combat zones, um, a lot of the ships or a lot of the enemies that spawned were only like mostly harmless or whatever uh, which meant that they were pretty terrible both in terms of fighting them because it was really easy and because it wouldn't progress your rank or anything you're at, like your combat rank um, so that's one of the things as I said the resource extraction sites have supposedly been fixed as well so obviously I'm heading towards one right now and we will take a look at that a lot of the other changes have just been things like crash fixes and that sort of thing are uh, personally I almost never crash when I'm playing this game. In fact, I don't know when the last time I crashed was. Uh, for me, the game's been very stable, but obviously a lot of people are having problems with crashes and stuff, so this uh, patch is designed to fix some of that stuff. Um, supposedly the integrity repair costs have been fixed as well. However, I've already been reading that apparently now just repair costs in general are broken. Uh, apparently it's very expensive. So what I'll probably do while I'm in here is take a bit of damage, uh, hopefully without blowing up, and then we'll actually see just how bad these repair costs are. Um, so yeah, so I'm just flying towards this uh, extraction site. Hopefully it will get some decent spawns. I'm not sure if I still need to do the whole, you know, resetting it, like loading in and out and resetting it or anything. Uh, I guess we'll find that out as well. And we do have uh, low intensity ones here too. So I guess if I really need to, we can... Um, swap backwards and forwards between them and see if there's some sort of difference there. There's also a station really close by which makes life a bit easier. So while I'm going in here, let's actually go up above the top, make sure I'm coming in on the light side as well. It's always annoying being in a resource extraction site uh, on the dark side of the planet because it's, well, it's very dark and you run into asteroids and you blow up your shiny Imperial Clipper and then you have to pay the insurance costs. That's one possibility. <laughs> Not that I'm in the clipper anymore. Anyway, that did happen to me once before. Oh, I might be going in too fast. No, I think it's okay. Actually, there is one easy way of uh, checking out repair costs if this doesn't work. Oh, okay. Oh, did it drop me up? Or did I? Because I did press the button. Okay. That's what I was going to do anyway. If uh, I was going in too fast, I would have just let it drop me out automatically, and then I would have taken some hull damage. But anyway, I guess I pressed the button in time. So, let us see where are our spawns. Might have to fly in a bit closer. It dropped me out a little bit far away. So, some of the other fixes. Uh, there's been a bunch of server fixes, as well as client fixes. So, some of the stuff on the server and you can, as you might be able to tell, I'm actually looking across at my second screen now. But some of that is, um, for example, in Pranav Antal's control systems. Uh, he's one of the power play factions. Um, it seems that fines or bounties were not being uh, imposed on people. So that's been fixed so that you can get bounties in his control systems now. Uh, what else? What else? Fixed trading modifiers for Edmund Mahan. Mahan? I don't know how you say that. I guess some of his bonuses were incorrect or whatever, so they've been fixed. So it's all that sort of thing. Um, this isn't a particularly big update, so a lot of that stuff, a lot of the stuff that's in it is not massive sort of stuff, it's just minor tweaks and fixes. As always, there will be a link to the patch notes in the video description if you are interested in more detail. But it certainly doesn't look at the moment like we have many, um, many ships spawning in here. So, I'm not sure what the security rating of this system is. I'm not even sure if that matters for resource extraction site spawning. But yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely not getting many NPCs spawning in at the moment. Just trying to keep an eye out for laser fire off in the distance as well. Often the uh, ships can be spawned in just far enough away that the scanners don't even know that they're there. So seeing laser fire off in the distance is one really good way of knowing where they are. Also, um, engine trails and that sort of thing. But it's really looking like there's not much of anything. We do have another ship off there too far away. 
So I try and fly towards where that was on the scanner. But yeah, it's looking at the moment like I'm going to have to um, jump out and reset the instance. Or just load out and load back in. One way or the other. The good thing about loading out and loading back in is that um, normally when you do it, the instance is already populated with NPCs, so you don't have to wait for them to spawn in. We've got some ships over here. Let's see what this is. So there are definitely three ships there. I can see three distinct agent trails. Got a Viper. Okay, he's wanted. I'm guessing this whole wing is going to be wanted. So it's a Viper, a Cobra. You can see these guys are um, their ranks Master, Dangerous, and Expert. And they are all pirates by the looks of it, or at least wanted. Alright. Actually, let's run the uh, the old Kill Run scanner first. Why not? Ooh. A little bit closer there than I needed to get, I think. So we'll also see if um, system security jumps in as well once we're in combat with these guys. Oh, he's out of oh, fuck it. I don't really need the money. Let's just um, attack these guys. Once I get back in range. It does seem to be a bit laggy as well. Uh, I'm noticing just some... A few hitches every now and then, the sort of thing that I don't normally get, but whatever. Let's see what we can do about this. So it looks like for whatever reason this guy's buddies in his wing haven't gone hostile. Don't know why. Side one there, there's the Cobra. Oh, now they have. Okay. So I still don't have any uh, shield cell boosters in my Python, which might be a bit of a mistake. But at least, even if I do take damage here, this will give me a good chance to see what those uh, repair costs are like. Scan Being scanned by another piratey ship. I've got full power to my systems at the moment to strengthen my shields a bit, a bit more than normal. Uh, but that does mean that my weapons obviously cannot charge as well, so my lasers are just not re recharging their energy. And again, there's another of those um, hitches, just bits of lag or something. Not really sure what's causing that. Uh, he's dead. Target shields online. Viper. Just uh, try something different here. There's something that was suggested in one of my in the comments on one of my videos. Um, let's see if it works. If I can hit my buttons correctly. Flight assist off. So I'm going to try a couple of different things here. Flight assist off. There we go. This is a pretty old trick. It's um, basically just reversing away from your enemy and shooting at him. Of course, the problem is he is a bit far away. Because I spent so long boosting away from him. Uh, gimbaled weapons don't particularly enjoy long-range shooting. Yeah, they're just not recharging fast enough yet. So my shields are going to go down, but I should be able to get this kill anyway. Uh, he's flying away now. Probably because his shields are down too. Alright. He's dead. My shields did go down. Uh, not very much. So if you're not sure what I did just then, basically I um, turned flight assist off and I boosted a little bit to increase my maneuverability 
and then turned flight assist back on when I was facing towards him and then put my thrusters into reverse so I was flying away from him. Basically it allows you to um, keep firing at the target even while you're flying away from him. It's something I used to do a long time ago but I haven't done it in a long time. I'm not sure how successful it was but as with all things practice makes perfect. It's going to be very embarrassing if a side one kills me in my python. Alright, well anyway. So I mean, we got some a decent combat there, sort of, but um, the spawns themselves don't seem that impressive at the moment. So let's um, let's try reloading the instance, shall we? So I'm just going to do this the quick way. This is how it used to be done, basically. As I was saying, this allows the um, the instance to be populated a lot faster than just jumping out and jumping back in. I'm not sure why, but it does, or at least it used to. I'm not sure if it still does. As you can see, it the it hasn't it doesn't affect anything with the shield recharge or anything, so there's no exploit in regards to that. Anyway, we do have a ship down here. Let's see if it's anything interesting. And remember, this is a high-intensity resource extraction site that we're in. It's not a low-intensity one. Or a normal one. Alright, got a courier there. Interesting. So he's deadly, he's wanted. What else have we got in here? Diamondback Explorer. Looks like he might be mining. Yeah, he's clean. So, I mean, we got the courier, but not a whole lot else. I suppose we could attack this guy. Why not? Hmm, he's got fairly strong shields. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the scanner while I'm doing this. There's still not many ships showing up. So you can see this guy is deadly. He's got a higher combat rank, which is why he's um he's got better shields on the ship and everything, basically. Oh, my shields are finally back. How oh, nice. And my multi cannons are reloading. I really, really wish we would just have a button that we can press to reload ammo in weapons. I don't know why that isn't a thing. It would make life so much easier. And there is some combat going off in the distance down there. So we'll have to go and check that out. And he's used chaff. The worst enemy of gimbaled weapons. Not that it's going to save him. There we go. So where was that combat happening? There. Let's see what we got. With a bit of luck, it'll be something interesting. And with even more luck, I won't go boosting straight into the side of an asteroid. Type 9 heavy, so that's obviously being attacked by something else. The something else, I'm guessing, is now dead. Because I don't think it was this eagle. No, he's just coming in to scan me. Well, once he's right in front of us and he's slowed down, it will um, give him a bit of a surprise. A little bit closer. Yeah, that'll do. Under attack. Target shields offline. Target shields All right. online. So this time. Target shields online. This time I'm actually going to jump out and jump back in. We'll see if that makes a difference. So we do have some ships spawning down here. What are they? 
type 6, maybe with escorts. Oh, whatever. It's nothing big. What we're looking for is the pythons, anacondas, uh, clippers or dropships, whatever. Okay, we've jumped back... Let me fucking speak. We've jumped back in. Uh, let's see what we can see. A cobra down here. Doesn't look like a whole lot else at the moment. And that guy's clean. It's not a great start. Put a bit more power back to my uh, system as well. We're just cruising around. Let that build up completely. But yeah, it's um, not looking great at the moment, is it? So let's see, what's the um, what's the security rating of this system? If I can even see it here, I don't think I can. I'll have to go to the galaxy map. No, that doesn't say either. I'm not actually really sure how you see the security rating, actually, now that I think about it. I know that there is a way somehow. Do I have to look at it as a power? Yeah, I've got no idea. I've got no idea what I'm doing. The security ratings and everything are really not something that I ever bother looking at. But I have heard that it can affect this. I know there's a way you can see it, I'm just not quite sure where it is, if I'm honest. Um, but anyway, we don't appear to have any other ships. So track by our Y. Uh, we don't appear to have any other ships that have spawned in. Um, okay. So jumping out and jumping back in didn't help. Let's try loading out and loading back in. Alright, how's that gone? As you can see, immediately we've got more ships on the scanners. Cobra down here who is clean. What are these other guys? No idea. Adder, a couple of ships mining as well. They're all mining by the looks of it. Diamondback Scout. So yeah, we still don't have anything interesting loading in. Unfortunately, this is one of those things where it's if you keep getting unlucky with the spawns it's going to look like it's still broken. I mean, I have seen plenty of people saying on the forums that this is already fixed. Um, the thing is, it's just, with it being based on almost random spawns, it seems, it's so difficult to actually know for sure. But, I mean, this is what, the third? Is it the third or fourth time that I've loaded in here? And I'm really not getting very lucky with my spawns at all. So I guess I'll just keep jumping out and jumping in, and we'll see if I actually get anything good. So that's interesting, I just jumped out and jumped back in, and it put me 54 kilometers away from the point. I don't recall that ever having happened before. Um, I did jump out like of Super Cruise basically as soon as I came within the 1000 kilometer mark, so there was nothing out of the ordinary there. And yeah, that's a bit weird. I'm just 50 kilometers away from the marker. No idea why that is. Uh, I don't know if that's another bug or if this is something that's supposed to be the way that it is. It's, uh, it's a little odd. It's also a little annoying. Because now I'm going to have to keep boosting in until I'm actually there. Anyway, we carry on. Okay, so I've boosted my way uh, all the way here. Um, I've got absolutely nothing showing up on the scanners at the moment, except for asteroids when I get close enough to them. I'm not seeing ships around anywhere. So yeah, I don't, I've got no idea what's going on at the moment. I, I suppose it could be that I'm just getting very, very unlucky with spawns or whatever, but if I had to be honest, it seems like it's still a bit broken. Uh, what I'm going to do now is jump out of this one and I'm going to try the low intensity one and I guess we'll just we'll see what we can see basically. Now bearing in mind it could be that there's just something up with this system or whatever um, I may just be getting really unlucky but it's not looking fantastic let's be honest. Okay so we're at this low intensity resource extraction site now 
Uh, let's see what we can see. It's obviously in the same system and all that sort of thing. Um, so if there is a, some sort of problem with the security rating of the system, uh, this one will probably suffer from that as well. But I think, I mean, realistically, I think the only difference, as far as I understand, between low intensity and high intensity, I think it's supposed to be like the skill level of the NPCs. Um, I think low intensity is supposed to have a lot more system security and lower skilled enemies or lower skilled pirates or whatever, whereas high intensity is supposed to have less security and far higher skilled pirates. That's uh, my understanding of it. So we a Cobra up here, who is competent, and a pirate. So we'll shoot this guy, but as you can see, not many more NPCs. And you can see it's still just hitching a lot. I have no idea why. Anyway, we'll let this guy get a little bit closer and I'll open up on him. There we go, that was easy. So, again, just keeping an eye out for weapons fire in the distance or for engine trails or anything like that. As you can see, there's nothing on the radar. Oh, there is now. There's an adder. Let's see if he's mining or not. I'd say he's mining. Given that there's online. fragments off in the distance. Target shields offline. Right. Okay, let's try and reset this instance as well. Okay, I've reset the instance. Uh, you can see straight away there's a federal rockship over there. And we've got a couple of couriers as well. We've also got security in the system. Uh, this guy is a pirate and is wanted. You can see he's also a novice. That lower rank, as I was saying before, is because this is a low intensity zone. I wonder what this guy's worth. 25,000 credits. Still not seeing any um, pythons or anacondas. That is four couriers. That's interesting. Yeah, let's see what this guy has for us. Really should have targeted his power plant. But whatever. Do it anyway. Oops. Bang. He's down to six percent hull. I got one of the curies attacking us. There he is. Doesn't even have any shields. Come on, Python, you can do it. Under attack. All right, he's down. Target destroyed. Nothing else interesting has uh, come into play, although we do have some more security hanging around now. So, again, this guy is wanted, so we can attack him as well. But the thing is, you're really not getting very much money out of this at all. But, I mean, the number of ships and everything that have spawned in here may, may would suggest that um, it was just bad luck or something at the other site. I don't really know. Go after this one as well. If I can turn around fast enough, let's go full power to the engines. I don't think hitting the booster really helped there at all. <laughs> this is so stupid. This little stuck in a turn flight. Let's see if we can do this um, little trick again. There we go. Now we're back in reverse. It would help if I could hit him.
Uh, look how much shield damage I'm taking just because I couldn't turn around fast enough. And what did I just collide with? <laughs> I got no idea. That's, this is weird. Something else is attacking me now as well. What is it? Oh, it's an Imperial Clipper. Interesting. I guess the Curie is going to get away. My shields are down. This is why you really want to have uh, shield cell batteries, banks, boosters, whatever they're called. Um, obviously I don't yet, because I haven't got this loaded up very well. Whatever. So we do have some slightly larger ships spawning in this instance though. There we go, he's dead. Yep. Target destroyed. Still no anacondas. Or anything. Um, alright, well. Let's head to the station. I've been out here for quite a while now. Let's head to this station and see what the repair costs are like. Of course it's on the other side of the rings. Frameshift drive charging. Okay, so we're coming in for docking at this uh, station. We can see I've got 87% damage, or 87% hull remaining, sorry. 13% uh, damage. So, what I've heard is wrong with these um, repair costs is just that the each of the different modules, their repair costs are just really out of whack, apparently. I haven't seen it for myself yet, though. So, let's have a look. 148,000 credits. That is a lot. Uh, it's far more than it used to be. So how's this actually turned out? And integrity costs, I'm still not sure that that's fixed. Uh, it doesn't look like it's fixed. 85,000 credits for a 97%. That's uh, a bit high. So most of this most of this repair cost for this one, though, is for the hull. 13% uh, is 121,000 credits, apparently, to repair. You can see some of these other costs are pretty high. Um, I guess 1% for the shield boosters is going to be 26,000 credits each. That's a bit pricey. And then you've got other things though, are just one credit for like 2 or 3%. This um, is quite clearly broken, I think. None of this... These costs just don't make sense, apart from anything else. Um, you know, you have 26, well, 26 and a half thousand credits here and then one credit here. It just, it doesn't make sense. Um, it's also the fact that Increased costs for normal repairs were not mentioned at all on the patch notes. So I think this is quite clearly a bug. Uh, it hasn't struck me too badly. 148,000 credits isn't actually very much. Apparently people with anacondas though, you're talking like 1% hull damage is a million credits. Um, obviously that's problematic, especially if you're as bad a pilot as I am. Um, so yeah, repair costs seem to just be even more broken than they were before, really. I'm not quite sure how they've managed to do that. Um, anyway, let's have a look. Oh, not the bulletin board. Uh, the wrong button. I was going to say, let's have a look at the contacts, if this ever loads in now. And um, we'll see how much money I actually made from the bounties. Is this going to load in? Finally. Loading times for the bulletin board and that sort of thing seem to be taking a lot longer than used to. Uh, okay, so in that time I made 325,000 credits from bounty hunting. I don't actually know how long I spent there, but it felt like a lot longer than it should have been for this much money, basically. So, are resource extraction sites fixed? I really don't know, if I'm completely honest. Um, unfortunately, I might have just had a run of bad spawns or something like that. In terms of higher value targets spawning or higher ranked ships spawning, that does seem to be working at the moment. I don't have a combat zone anywhere nearby as far as I can tell where I can actually go and see what those are like but from what I've read um, the the problem of like only harmless or mostly harmless ships spawning in combat zones has definitely been fixed apparently that is making combat zones a lot more dangerous um, which is also resulting in a lot more people running into this repair cost bug I guess but in terms of resource extraction sites I really don't know I might have just had some really bad spawns um, or maybe this is just how it is I mean, my understanding was that the spawns like this were actually a bug, but I really don't know anymore. So, I don't know is my final result, I guess. Uh, that's not particularly helpful, I know, and I'm sorry for that, but... 
this, I think this is one of those things where we're just going to have to wait and see um, how this really plays out and, you know, once more and more people get to actually play around with the resource extraction sites because this patch has only been out for... How long has it been out? Well, it's been out for about at least 12 hours, I think. But, yeah, as I was saying, it's just one of those ones where you might have to wait and see uh, and get a little bit of developer input to see if it has actually been fixed or not. But yeah, so I think I'll end this one here. So this is, what is it? It's update 1.3.04. Um, so yeah, as always, patch notes are in the video description. And yes, yeah, so until next time, I've been Wilsko, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.